Hello everyone, I'm Jason and welcome back to Mac of the Movies. Today I am going to review for you the film by Whit Stillman from 1990, Metropolitan. Uh, this film stars Chris Eigeman, Taylor Nichols, Carolyn Farini, and Edward Clements. Uh, other films that Whit Stillman has brought along uh, in his repertoire is uh, Barcelona and The Last Days of Disco. Uh, these kind of comprise with Metropolitan to bring together an unofficial trilogy, if you will. Uh, that kind of, it pretty much follows uh, uh, Eigenman's character, um, Nick Smith, uh, in the three films. But in this one, uh, he is uh, one of the main characters that reaches out to uh, Edward Clement's character, Tom uh, Townsend, uh, to kind of help bring him up in society and with uh, what I guess you would call elitist peers. So uh, this is essentially takes place in Manhattan uh, with a group of friends, uh, debutantes or debs as they like to call themselves. Uh, they essentially get together, go out for a dance, you know, party-like evening, uh, you know, fine wine, good food and conversation, and then they all gather back at a, an apartment, and they talk about their beliefs and their ideals and their opinions on different matters, whether it be Jane Austen or, uh, you know, whatever political party they choose to uh, be a part of. So this film essentially, you know, it follows this character of Tom Townsend played by Edward Clements. And, you know, he's he's more of a poor individual. Uh, he's leaving this party, you know, dance where he had, I, I assume he had been invited. Uh, he was there uh, and later it gets discussed that he was sitting by himself and that he was invited to this after party at the apartments. So uh, Chris Eigenman's character, Nick, he notices Tom uh, as well as Audrey. Audrey, uh, uh, it becomes a, a bit of a love interest. Uh, she has a crush on Tom, but Tom likes somebody else. And then Taylor Nichols' character, Charlie Black, he likes Audrey, but you know, it's, it's one of those dynamics and you follow through the entire film. Uh, Nick, his his role in this is to essentially build up Tom's character, uh, you know, shows him the ins and outs to become essentially what he is wanting to be, which is one of them, uh, regardless of his protest of, you know, Debbie hunt parties and going out to dances, things like that. Uh, it's definitely one of those movies in the vein of like, uh, and I don't know if you can really put them together, but I, I look at it through things like collective dialogue and, uh, but uh, My Dinner with Andre and films like Clerks, where the entire movie, a lot of it's just dialogue. It's people knowing other people and discussing matters with, you know, it's just one of those things that helps open people up through conversation. And, and I like movies like that with dialogue that just kind of go on and on and on. And it really allows you different ways to think about situations, in, you know, like in ways that you might not have. So uh, essentially this though, uh, they do that, you know, Tom's an outsider. He is from the west side of Manhattan, I believe, uh, like that area of New York where these folks are from the east side. And, you know, they, they kind of notice this, especially Nick notices this, and he wants to kind of help build Tom up. Um, the, you know, you, you see a lot of the, the love interests between Audrey and Tom and how Tom seems to obliviously let her down. Uh, you know, I'm sure many people have been there before and, in that situation, it's kind of neat to see a, an outside view of that 
having taken place. And I think they represent it perfectly in this film. Uh, by the end of the film, you know, you, you, you get to the buildup of, you know, Nick's character building up Tom and Charlie hates Tom because, you know, he doesn't respect what he could have with Audrey while Charlie likes Audrey and there's no chance of anything ever happening. Uh, by the end of the film, you know, without spoilers, it's essentially Nick bringing Tom up almost as like a replacement for him. And you kind of see that transition uh, during a game of bridge that they all play. And, you know, afterward, Nick leaves. And it's kind of like Tom takes that role. So in, in the mix of it all, uh, I, I don't think that Charlie, I guess, sees him as a threat or they're still both stuck in this lifestyle that they don't know anything else but that and these are the only two that are kind of like left in there and so they just kind of link up as friends so I mean by the end they're friends you know they continue doing what they do until you know the next film uh three things that I really noticed in this movie that I uh, I really like there was a scene where Audrey and another one of the characters was having a discussion and you see Nick so it's it's the two of them, and behind them is a mirror. So the discussion is just between those two, but you see Nick's reflection turn around in the mirror, and he joins in on the conversation. And I like how, uh, you know, Stillman used the, the mirror as another channel to expand in that room, in that conversation, and it essentially added a person to the scene like to that specific shot that wouldn't have been there otherwise that would have had to come in from you know left or right or had to walk into the conversation he was already there but not present and then he turns around and boom he's in the conversation and i really like that uh another thing i really enjoyed was the, the idea of the game of bridge that i talked about a minute ago i liked how you know that helped bridge a character uh, you know, you see, uh, essentially Tom wasn't invited to this game because they thought they had enough people to play and they didn't. So they invite Tom, uh, you know, I, I like when Tom enters the room and everyone kind of stares at him. You see Charlie just kind of looks at him and goes, ah, great. Okay. This guy's here, but you see Audrey who's sitting next to Charlie and she just kind of looks up and a bit of a a smitten gaze and I you know I kind of like that and you, like you see that there's still that bond there uh while it's very one-sided it's kind of nice to see that reaction and you know I'm sure that's taken from somewhere so you know the, things like this happen and it makes the the film more real it, it feels more real and you know, and then it bridges the character, Nick leaves, Tom takes his place, and then the movie goes on from there. Uh, it's definitely a different feel, you know, before and after Nick, but uh, all in all, it's a good film. Uh, another thing I really liked uh, was a quote that Nick says to Tom. Uh, you know, Nick was trying to bring him into this higher society type world, and he was explaining a few things to him, and Nick was wearing a detachable collar on his shirt, and uh, Tom didn't notice this, uh, and he was discussing it, and, you know, how it's not something that people do anymore, and uh, I love this quote. Uh, Nick says to Tom, so many things which were better in the past have been abandoned for supposed convenience and I think that rings so true especially when Tom replies I didn't notice so Tom didn't even notice this extra effort that had gone into the attire that that Nick put on you know that Nick don like adorn that evening you know he didn't notice it and it was like that extra step that you know whether it be out of convenience that that isn't a thing that people really take into consideration anymore or what, but you know, 
it was something that Nick liked and, you know, really made him, you know, his confidence boost and just, I mean, whenever you see Nick in the film, I mean, he always seems to be the character with the highest level of confidence. Um, and then he replies to Tom after he says, I didn't notice with, it's a small thing, symbolically, but important. So, you know, I, I really, you know, all around, this was a good film. Uh, I'd give three stars. You know, I'd definitely say everyone go check it out. Uh, of the three films in the uh, Whit Stillman trilogy, uh, this is probably one of my favorites. You know, it's around Christmas time, so I like to watch it, you know, in December like right now. And, you know, it kind of gets you in that Christmassy mood. Um, I, like I said, I love films like Clerks and My Dinner with Andre that has a lot of dialogue. So you get a lot of that in this film, which I enjoy. And just all around, it's a great film, good actors. So three stars is what I give it. Go out and check it out if you can find it. Uh, I checked my copy out from the library uh, I, I own the film, it's in storage, so, you know, if it's a matter of finding the film, I mean, definitely use your resources, check the, check it out, you know, around now, uh, you know, get that Christmas vibe going, and I hope you really enjoy it. So, this is Jason for another Mac the Movies review, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, great rest of your day, and see you next time.